lovely. So today I am doing my Wantables accessory box unboxing and I'm really excited. I don't tend to buy accessories and things like that. So this is a very much a treat to me. So if you don't know what a Wantables subscription box is, is you pay a monthly fee which is $36.00. Or if you want to do a one-time box to see how you like it, which is what I'm doing, you can pay $40. And I am just trying out a bunch of different boxes. I don't really know what to try, but this one seemed really cool. They have a makeup, an accessory, and an intimates one. So this is the accessories one. So I'm really excited. And there's like stuff that comes in here. I don't know. It's here. We're just gonna, that's what I do with stuff that comes in it. I just want this, the jewelry and the accessories. But I will tell you in this one um, what the stuff retails for. If that's something that interests you, then that'll be a part of the video that you really like. Yay! Mm, okay. So, and this first little, they come in these little velvety bags, which is cool. And this first bag, there's a necklace, and it is. It's really pretty. One strand is kind of like silver. I don't know why I'm explaining it. You can see it. And it's really long, which I really like. I don't know why I'm holding it up like that. I really like that because I tend to wear like really plain dresses and shirts and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice to throw this on with it. It's also a really cool layering piece. So if I wanted to wear like a little bit of like a turquoise necklace with it, it would work really well. So, like it. Next thing, oh, and that would retail for twenty-one dollars. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay, so the next thing is a watch. Put put this off and put the time into it. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you. It looks cute on. Okay, so, oh, I don't know how you wear your watch, but <laughs> let me put it on how most people wear their watches so you guys can see it. So, it looks like this, but if you look at it, it's actually safety pins with beads on it. But maybe I'm just the wrong age demographic for this because I actually used to make these all the time and we would actually um, safety pin them onto our shoes. We'd give them to our friends. I used to, we used to wear them in our hair. Um, I actually think it's super cute, but I don't know if people are gonna really like this because it's just elastic and safety pins. So I don't know, for my first accessory, I don't know. Um, this retails for, <laughs> that's, there's no way. It says it retails for $27. Are you for real? This is made in China, the face, the, the watch face that you could go to Michael's and get for probably like 10 bucks and this would cost a couple cents. Nah, no, Wantables. No. I think it's really cute though. It's actually uh, rainbow colors are really in trend for summer. Um, I like that it's um, flexible, even though it's elastic. I like that. Uh, I would just be worried some other people probably might not like it that much. But I think it's really cute. And I really like to stack my bracelets and stuff so the thickness of it doesn't bother me. So two things down and I like them. So next things are, oh, these earrings are very pretty. They're a little bit, like the one here looks really nice and silver, but the one is kind of looks tarnished already, which is kind of grody because I haven't even worn them, but um, they're little, I call them the tree of life. Um, they're little like these tree earrings, which are really pretty, but do you see how this one's like blackened and tarnished and this one's not? I mean, it'd be fine if both of them look like that, because then I'd be like, oh, it just has that, like, worn look. But since this one's kind of not, and it's very silvery, and there's actually, like, in the branches, it's a little bit black, I don't really appreciate that. 
but they are cute and I like them and they are something that I might wear it just sucks that they're like that because I actually would really like to give them as a gift because I think that like they're one of those things that like pretty much everyone would like and is kind of like could be sentimental but mm, not so much on those I just like okay so the next one is gold okay so the thing is is that when you get these subscription boxes you do this whole questionnaire to kind of let them know what you like and dislike and they actually print it on this little freaking paper so it's kind of pissing me off that I literally like everything like I love everything there's one thing I like and that was a little iffy for me because it was multi-tone because I knew it would be silver and gold I don't like gold. I wear a very, very tiny gold um, chain, which I got when I was like, I don't know, in seventh grade. But since then, I do not wear gold, like, ever. So, other than, like, if it's been, like, hand-me-down stuff that's, like, I've inherited or something like that. But, so I have two dislikes. Two out of all of these things, and one of them is gold tone. I'd even take rose gold, bronze, anything, but it's not. So these are little... Now, mind you, they're super cute. Like, I like that they're the shape that they are. I don't like that... The... Okay, so this one definitely is... Um... Not broken, but what would you say? It's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a black mark where like the gold's already come off of it. Because obviously it's gold plated, fake gold plated. So that's kind of really crappy. I haven't even worn them. I haven't even touched them. And there's already damage. They're damaged. That's kind of really crappy. So not only. Okay, so, all right. So these, I'm looking at the chart thing for retail prices, and I was supposed to get a ring. So I think that these are a mistake, which makes me feel better because it kind of annoyed me that I said that this is the only thing that I wouldn't like besides glam, and that's what they sent me. Like, really? But I think that this was a mistake because these earrings are on here for $14, which who would pay $14 for tarnished earrings, but they're cute. Um, the necklace 21 and then I was supposed to get a ring. Yeah, so I think these are a mistake. And the ring is a trio of silvery metallic rings, which I really, I would have I really, really liked that. Two feature an open geometric design, and the third is studded with rhinestones. I would have really liked that. Um, and I'm like, okay, the thing is, is that, okay, this is another thing that's really bugging me, is that, like, there's July Accessories Collection featuring Dana, Dan, Dana Ann, and, like, they have these, like, stylists that specially pick whatever, and the things are Aztec, in Aztec Inspiration, which is, like, my favorite. Like, if I could have, like, arrow and feather everything, I would. And there's not one single thing that's Aztec, even close to Aztec. I mean, that sucks. Yeah, turquoise, turquoise. Hello, turquoise is like my absolute favorite color in bracelets and rings and earrings. And nothing's Aztec. So it smells like they gave me like a leftover box or like a returned box and like put things together that were damaged, which really sucks. And from a business standpoint, I, it just, I would, your first box, I would say like, I don't know get it right like if you want me to come back for business like if I would have liked this first box I guarantee like in two seconds I would have filled out 
to get a subscription box every month. So to have this be my first box and it be a one-time box, it's like I'm definitely not going to get it because also I feel like to get this swatch, these two items, and this necklace, I paid $40. So the least you'd pay for it is $36. I could go to Forever 21 or Express even and get these items for 20 30 bucks at the most at Express. So I just don't think that you're getting your money's worth out of these items. This I think is really pretty. I think the watch is cool. I'd like to wear that to like the, the pool or the beach because it is crappy that like I wouldn't be heartbroken if it broke or got wet. I'd just be like, oh well. But I'm really disappointed and like I don't know whether to call them and like go through the grief of returning these and getting the ring but I mean they are cute don't get me wrong because like I know a lot of you guys are gonna think oh those are really cute and they are and like honestly I probably would have given them to my friend my best friend Lindsay because I, she wears whatever she wears gold and everything but since they're damaged I mean she, it just sucks I can't even give them to somebody so that, that was what I was kind of looking forward to with the um, accessories box is I love giving accessories as gifts and if I didn't like something in my box wouldn't be a huge deal I have a million best girlfriends so I could just send give them to one of my girlfriends that liked it which to me is like no loss then so I'm disappointed I'll keep you guys updated like I think I'm gonna probably contact them because that's pretty outrageous that they sent me not only the wrong item and said that they sent this to the, me but also it's like one of the only two things that I dislike so I'll tell I'll let you guys know maybe their their customer service is amazing and um, I think even with these it's I feel like they're damaged I'm not even being picky because I buy all like other than this jewelry and like stuff that I don't really wear that often all my jewelry's really junky like I'd be really happy going to Claire's and getting like five dollar earrings and I'd be like oh my gosh look at these earrings so I'm not being like snobby like it's just they look crappy you can tell and I even showed them yeah I just I just mm, no I don't like it well, um, so I'm kind of disappointed, but at the same time, the stuff's not horrible, but I'll let you guys know after I talk to people, but in the comments down below, let me know what you, your favorite item was, um, let's say if it weren't damaged, <laughs> because I think a lot of you guys actually like these, and I would even do these as a giveaway if they weren't damaged, but I don't feel right even giving them away with that damage on them so I don't know what to do so I hope you guys have a pain free stress free day and I'm sending out X double O's and as always I'll talk to you tomorrow bye